Yes. This is me preparing to travel to Europe for a single and married conference. I have enjoyed every bit of my job as a relationship counsellor. My very supportive husband sometimes takes the job from me when he's all loaded with inspiration and the right words. We love each other so much and we would always watch each other's back. For over 26 years, we've lived our lives with all the love, attention and affection. Infidelity has never crossed our minds because we are just perfect together. Hurry up so that you don't miss your flight. As you can see, I am almost done. All right then. Um, uh, did you tell Columbus what you would like to have for breakfast? Yes, I did already. And I am sure he's on it. Okay. Honey, you should hurry up, really. Your flight is for 9.40 a.m. And the time is uh, 7.20. Missing your flight won't give me any joy. Felix, <laughs> you're practically throwing me out of my house. Why are you behaving as if you're not going to miss me? Of course I'll miss you. Then act as if you're going to miss me. Good morning, Master Leonard and Master Donald. Hmm. How was your night? Good, good, I guess. I'm very good. I know your life will be good. Anybody will sleep on this house with witch press. Ah, that's in the life. No fear. <laughs> <laughs> that is your set. You blew the witch. You take off. <laughs> okay, so it's in the for sure. <laughs> yes. Please, enjoy my delicious finger licking breakfast. <laughs> Specially prepared by the number one chef, Chef Columbus. <laughs> the master chef. That's me. Master Columbus. <laughs> that's me. No <laughs> doubt. Your, your meals are delicious, but your style of cooking never seems to amaze me. You forget it so soon where I learned how to cook? From where? Uh, abroad. Where in abroad? My master taught me how to cook and how to position, you know, like, I'm taking this now. <laughs> One minute. Thank you. Is that a drink? <laughs> you have to be careful. You have to be careful. When you sound it, like this, like wow. this. Columbus, can you stop this? Nice one. <laughs> do, you know, do you know that all the videos I recorded of him cooking in a grand style are gaining massive views on the internet? I know, right? <laughs> no wonder somebody wrote me on Facebook saying she likes me. That was me. <laughs> you are a star now. You are a now. <laughs> ah! So, voila. So now I'm all done. And I guess that makes you happy, husband. Hey, come on. Come on. Stop sounding like that, okay? okay. Look, 
Deep within me, I wish you weren't embarking on this trip. But because I know how important this trip is to you, I wouldn't want you to miss your flight. Come on. Mm, okay, darling. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss, I'll miss you too, darling. I'll miss you. Um, I don't want you to miss your flight, okay? So, um, <laughs> no, let me help you. Come on. Okay. After you, my lady. <laughs> Oh, how you feel like? Three star. Hi! Come on, join Two. Four star. Where are five? That's it. Just enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. It's too much. I need any time I'm in the kitchen. Oh. My beautiful mother, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, honey. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Columbus. How are you? I'm, I'm very fine. Well, breakfast. It's ready and served. Hot! Ah, uh, no. I don't think I'm interested in having breakfast this morning. Thank you. Oh, you. anytime I hear I'm not interested in having breakfast, I didn't miss when I walk with you. Oh, uh, sweetheart. Are you sure you don't want to have something? Honey, I am fine. I should be on my way already. All right, then. Um, Donald. Yes. Um, no, Leonard. Go and change and take your mother to the airport, okay? To the airport, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So Donald, aren't you going to bid your mother farewell? I'm not. I just want to finish this sumptuous meal prepared by our dignified cook, Columbus, Master Chef, five star. That's me! Well, I'm coming! <laughs> Whatever you're giving them to eat, let's it be more of vegetables, okay? Because they've had excess carbohydrate already. No problem, man. I was trained abroad. Okay. No, sweetheart. Don't bother your pretty head about that. Columba said knows how best to handle the cost of meals in this house. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay, darling. So, um, I'll be back as soon as I'm done with my meeting. All right, ma'am. Right. Bye, ma'am. I'm right behind you. Uh, no, no. I'm don't coming. Know. I'm fine, okay? All right. Uh, Leonard! How are my meeting outside? Darling, thank you. Okay, bye, mom. Bye, bye, darling. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, can I um, serve your breakfast now, sir? Not now. Uh, okay. This is all like you. You are usually the first person to eat breakfast in this house. I hope all is well. I be you don't like my food again. There is no problem, Columbus. No problem. Mm. Okay, so uh, don't know. I need to have Okay. Is everything okay? I just need to discuss something serious with you. All right. I am not serious. Would you excuse this, Columbus? <clears throat> okay, sir. Okay, sir. Um, I will be in my inner chamber, which is the kitchen. Get going. Thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, but just to do it. <coughs> so, you won't have a mind that I can find you. And I know you wouldn't disappoint me in this that I am about to share with you. Okay? Dad, you know I'm a, a box of secrets. So just go ahead and share it. Um, I'm expecting some girls in this house anytime from now. Girls? Well, what girls? Sir! Yeah, I'm here, sir. I'm here. Columbus, I did not call you. You called me. You you, you said Gaius, and that's my middle name, Gaius. Oh my God. Okay, I get it. I said girls, not Gaius. Oh, Gaius. Columbus, have you been dropping on my conversations with my son? No, no, sir. I want you in your quarters immediately. Okay, sir. But if I have a thing. Like I was saying, the girls are for me and Bond. Fresh, pretty, sweet girls we met on one of our business trips. These girls wouldn't let us be. So we decided to invite them over. Okay. So are, are they coming into this house? Yes, exactly. And in fact, anytime from now. That's why I want to have this room. I I want you to keep their presence in this house a secret from your mom. That's what I want you to do for me. I will talk to that. I can handle that. At least my mom is not at home and she won't be around for so for a long time. But the problem we have here is this guy, Columbus. Oh. He's a minor challenge. If he proves stubborn, I can always fire him immediately. Besides, we can get him to see reason with us on the issue. Well, well, if that's the case, there's no case. I, I can handle it. I mean, there will be no leak. <laughs> that's my son. My favorite son at that. I knew I could come to it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad. You don't need to get yourself worked up over your, your guest. If they're here, they should place a call. You don't understand, Sam. They're already in town. They arrived some, some time ago. The cab that's supposed to bring them in should have been here, but it isn't, and that's why I'm worried. Don't worry, Dad. Come on. They, they will soon be here. I hope so. She's the one. Oh. Talk of the devil. Hello. Yes. Oh, all right. I'll allow him to tell him to open the gate okay. for you in a minute. All right. They are here. Go away. I need to call him to open the gate. Mosa, please go and open the gate. There are two ladies waiting outside. Let them in immediately. Alright. You're good enough. Um. <sighs> You're happy now. Here they are. Hey, Shu! Welcome, my beautiful princess. <laughs> Hey, 
come in, come in, please, come in, please, come in. Hi, girls. Hey. Oh. You're welcome. That's my son, Donald. Oh, I see. <laughs> please sit. Right. Make yourselves comfortable. Right. Um, <clears throat> we have champagne, red wine, soft drinks, anything. Mention it. Uh, what, what type of white liquid do you have? Um, vodka, vodka, tequila, red. Mm, yeah. 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 Vodka. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vodka. Yeah. Vodka. Yeah. vodka too. Vodka too. Alright, good. I, I'll get it for you. Alright. Um, uh, so, ladies, how was the trip? Hope not to be hectic. I mean, it wasn't hectic. It's just there were a few delays. You know, we're supposed to arrive earlier. Actually, this timing is perfect. Really? Perfect. Very perfect. Okay. So, Stella, I hope you're doing great. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. As you my baby Bond is not here yet. Uh, he will be here soon, knowing you are here for him. Let me do the others. Okay. Um, Oh yes, thanks honey. Thank okay. You. Um ladies, enjoy your drinks while I briefly place a call. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay I will make it. Isn't he taking his calls? Mm -hmm. I hope your ladies are enjoying your yourself. Oh yes, we are. Hello. Uh, hello, Bond. Where on earth did you abandon the phone? Uh, it, it's all right. This is not the time for eclectic explanation. Okay. Your girl is here. In my house, of course. What do you mean you're, you're with your family? Look, try and make it snappy and be here immediately. Your shoulder of the cake is on my sofa, waiting to be devoured. Yes. Okay, the thing is, you do. How are you? Sweet ladies, you're welcome once again. My God, I never knew with this beautiful girl. <laughs> you know what to say. Picture never portrays the best of reality. Your reality is awesome. <laughs> really awesome, believe that. <laughs> okay. And that doesn't exclude you, Stella. You're as well beautifully fit for my friend Bond. Oh boy. See this. Oh, my boss abroad. My boss abroad don't used to have this type of guests. Oh. Columbus. Sir? Columbus. Mr. Felix, are you all right? <laughs> sure, uh, everything is a okay. All right. Okay. Um, be comfortable, please, okay? Yeah. Let me have a word with my son. Okay. Son? Donald, I need you to go and address that stupid Columbus. 
he was a drop in the conversation. He may be the one to make out the secret of ours. You know how uncontrollable his mouth is when he's with my wife, your mom. I, I, I just calm down, okay? I, I'll talk to him. Alright? I have no word of him. I'll control him. Back. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Hey, baby. Okay, that's ticklish. I just can't wait to feel those beautiful body of yours. We have all the time, baby. Yeah, baby, right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I need to shower. Oh. I need to shower, babe. I know, I'm really craving for the slender the body of you. Don't worry, we have all the time. Yeah. Mm. You want to freshen up? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. One a second. Um, Don. Don, yes, please come. <laughs> I want you to take them upstairs to freshen up, okay? Yeah, maybe take one to my room and take one to your room. Uh, and then when one will come, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, ladies, please come with me. Please. <laughs> mm, that's my girl. <laughs> mm. uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Let me go. <laughs> hey, hey. hey. Chef of the century. Macedonia, not just century. You are my guy. A whole century. <laughs> you know I'm playing abroad. Oh, this is your abroad of a thing. You never tell me they are abroad where they where they, where you go do this training. Ah, I've told you before that Mexico. Yeah, actually it's called Mexico over there, but here we call it Mexico, but it's Mexico. Okay. Alright, um I'm sure you'll be having some confused talk about those guys in the living room. Uh, I, do not, I don't understand. You don't need to understand. The only thing you are permitted to understand is that one of them is my girlfriend uh, and the other one her sister. <coughs> you have a cough? <coughs> no, it's, it's cough that is trying to have me. Uh, what? I'm okay now. So you try to save yourself. Alright. All right. And secondly, never you tell my mom that I brought those girls to the house in her absence. You know she she, she might get angry and sack you. Huh? I still do not. I, I, I don't want to be sacked. And you, you know, say no work for this country now. Eh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm just giving you a guideline to zip your mouth. Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell her anything. Mm. See, my mouth has been shut like this. Even since, even before I came to this house. Mm. Yes. Mm. So I can trust you. Mm. 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 Is that it? Mm. Mm. Are you shutting mm. your mouth against me? Mm. Mm. 
see, see, we, we I don't know anything about girls. I don't know where they come from. Only see, what I see, see, see like this. It's my eye. My eye. Don't put me for trouble. I beg. Hey, son. Dad. I oh, hope they're good. <clears throat> yeah, sure, they are good. They are taking their shower already. That's good. Thanks a lot, son. You're a real son of your father. As smart as my father. <laughs> um, but dad, I, I think you should, uh, you need to relocate those girls to somewhere where you can have your privacy and no one will interrupt you guys. Well, there is no one around except your chef. <laughs> What are you doing here? I, 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 I thought you were supposed to be on your way to Italy. Oh, I forgot a vital document. Uh, stop! Son. Thanks a lot, son. Okay. Thanks a lot. You handled the matter perfectly. You're indeed a smart lad. It's okay, Dad. You know how, how mom gets when she's angry. <laughs> Once again, thank you. But we can't keep these girls in this house anymore. We need to find alternative accommodation for them in order for incidents like this not to happen. That's a good idea. Since Uncle Uncle Bond has refused to come, I think we should move them. All right, um, you'll go to my room and pick up my Mastercard. Okay. I need you to make some withdrawals. Then take the girls to a hotel. Eh? Okay. Okay. Uh, which of the hotel? The one by Palm Street. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So let me get it. Okay. okay. Please do. <coughs> Okay, here we are. Stella? Okay. That's your room? Oh. Make yourself comfortable. Order whatever you want. Okay. Mr. Sure. Bond will soon be here. Alright, thank you. Your bag? Oh, yeah, thanks. Thelma? Here we go. Huge trouble coming from your house. Like, what is really going on? Why the unnecessary delay? I've been waiting right from your house. I even got beaten by your mom. 
And I'm here still waiting. My dear, be patient, okay? I'm sorry about what happened at the house, but listen, my dad is a very busy man, but he will make sure you're comfortable, all right? I mean, your major concern should be the fact that you get paid and you'll be well taken care of. That was a very close shave. Thank God for my son, Donald. God knows that I wouldn't have been able to handle such an incident. Look, Mom, why did it take you so long to get here? Look, the traffic on the road was hectic. Besides, I have to find uh, a good reason to my wife before leaving. Next time, be smarter. It's all right. Um, I thought you mentioned the guests are here. Where are they? I had to lodge them in a hotel. I had a very close shave between my wife and my girl. What? I thought you said she went out on a trip. She forgot some vital documents and had to come back to pick them. And then she met my girl, taking a shower in the bathroom in our bedroom. That is serious. So, how did you handle this situation? Thank God for my son. Donald was the savior of the day. He had to lie to my wife on my behalf. I told you, Bon, I told you that. I don't know how to play this game. Oh, that, uh, that, that was a close one. Very. Uh, we shouldn't have brought them here in the first place. Huh? That goes to show that we are still, still novices in this issue of infidelity. Hence, yes, after this, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, so, uh, which hotel did you lodge them? Our usual business hotel. Donald is right there with them. <laughs> oh, <I love. laughs> Father and son running things. I, I had to confide in someone. <laughs> yeah, good liar. Uh, I didn't lie to him. I told him. I told, I told Donald that. That's why I was able to do I told him the truth. Okay, um, in that case, uh, I was there by way. Are, are you coming right away? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. Now, uh, sit, sit down. I will come with you, but I have to be cautious before stepping out. You know what I mean. Uh, yes, uh, of course. Right. <laughs> yes. Um, just give me like um, 30 minutes to freshen up, take my shower, okay? Okay. I'll okay. be with you shortly. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, Felix. <laughs>
I want to say thanks for keeping the girls. Ah, it's okay, sir. I mean, that's the little I can do. So, where are they? Oh, um, Stella is in this room. Okay. And uh, the other girl is here. <laughs> well done, sir. All right. Coming. Hey. Hello, beauty. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'll be waiting for you all day. Mm -hmm. I'm here right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have all day. To oh, ourselves. To ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure about that. Here. <laughs> Come on, take this off. Mm. What you have. <laughs> okay, fine. Just a taste. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Okay, all right, fine, I'll give you. <laughs> Just a save. <laughs> mm. Look, Donald, I don't understand why your dad is not here till now. The fact that he's not here till now is really bothering me, and I don't have time. Can you relax? Huh? Why can't you be patient? Listen, the man in question is a married man, and you're not his wife. You're just his side chick. I mean, he has made... All the arrangement to make sure that you're okay. Whatever you need, you take. He pays. Just relax. Ha. Huh. Um, I need to be on my way now. Let me check and find out what is keeping him. Wait, what? You're, you're leaving? Yes. Oh, you, were you expecting me to spend the night here with you? No, no, huh? not at all. Mm -hmm. So, I'm leaving. You just... Don't know, please. Can you... Look, I know you have to go, okay? But I can't be here by myself, please. I need some company. You know, you can stay just a little bit. You know... Can you hear yourself out? Huh? I mean, I have stayed more than enough. I've, I've been here for a whole day. I need to go home. Donald, look, I know you have to go. I know you've stayed more than enough. Well, I can't be here all by myself. I'll be bored. Stella would have been here to keep me company, but she's over there with her man. Eh, please, I can't be here by myself. Please, can you stay the night? Can you hear yourself? I should spend the night here with my dad's side chick. Ha! Ah. And that's not going to happen. Fine. Then I'll just pack my things and go. When you come back here tomorrow with your dad and you see no one in this room, you and your dad can be happy. That's fine. I left because probably I got bored and had to go. It's fine. Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. I'll stay. Okay? But nothing is permitted to happen. Mm -mm. Okay? Mm -mm. You, you stay on your lane, I stay on my lane. Yes. Is that deal? Yes. Okay. okay. Right. Thank you. Welcome, Sam. Um, has your mom left? Yeah, she has. The traffic on the road was crazy. I, I felt like leaving the car and running out. <laughs> Let me... Let me yeah, well, I'm coming. Donald! Donald! You must have left to the hotel. Step out. Yes, he went to get something. He'll be back very soon. Okay. That's
Donna, please come sleep on the bed. Donald? Please, come sleep on the bed. I'm not comfortable with the way you're sleeping out there in the cold. Oh, um, fine, please. I'm not complaining. Donald, I insist. Please, come on the bed. Donald, I'm fine. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just okay. <sighs> please? I still insist, please. I won't sleep well knowing you're just sitting out there in the cold, please. Okay, all right, all right. Fine. So is this how you faithfully carry out your dad's duties? Taking care of his side checks in their hot room? How do you ask? <clears throat> Nothing much, it's just that you're so relaxed. Seems like you've been doing this for a while. I know you're concerned. No, it's not. I mean, I'm just asking. Well, I have to do whatever I need to do to be of great service to my father's guest, especially women. You guys are special being, you know? <laughs> I see. Well, that's a nice accord of a woman coming from you. I'm sure your girlfriend must have been one of the major factors to the reason why you speak this good about women. My fiance, you mean? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, my bad. I mean, I didn't know you guys had taken it to that level. Well, I'm happy for you. Thanks. And what about you? Do you have any serious relationship with a guy? <laughs> I wish. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't be doing this. Why? But you are beautiful. You are a beautiful girl. I mean, your beauty is a pick in a pack. <laughs> Guys should be rushing to be your suitor. Mm. Uh. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, they only get to sleep on me. That's funny. Yes, just sex. I'm very annoying. Well, I mean, look at you. I'm, I'm very happy for you. I just hope that one day I would have someone I can share real love with, you know? You will. Very soon. But certainly not my father. Trust me, he's taking. I know. I mean, the fact that I have met someone who's been blessed with the favor of having such, I mean, that only says them close to mine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Donald. Good night, Donald. Good night. <clears throat>
Good morning, Columbus. Yes, sir. How was your night, sir? Hope you slept very well. Sure, I did. I go, I go. Yes. Uh, I just would you like to have a, a sumptuous breakfast before you evaporate out of the house? Um, Columbus, I am not in the mood for breakfast, but I'll have something when I get back. Okay, no problem, sir. Uh, uh, but in case you're hungry when you go, I just come in so that we'll start to put one or two together before you come. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Good morning, man. Ah, morning, son. Dad, I just noticed that Donald did not sleep in the house and his number hasn't been reachable. Um, that's no cause for worry. Uh, he must have slept over at his girlfriend's place. I think he mentioned something like that yesterday, yeah. Donald, sleep out. That's new. Sleeping out has never been a stain. Son, Every new thing begins in one day. I'll be stepping out. I should be back later in the day. Okay. Bye-bye, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Lulu, uh, you just uh, forget about this donut matter. Let me fix uh, something for you to shop this morning. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'll have my breakfast later. Uh -uh. You are fine, too? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not fine like that. Let me... Maybe before you move on. Um, do you need me to order you some breakfast? I'm fine. Don't worry. Um, I should be on my way soon. Uh, did you make order ready? Not at, not at all. Oh, good morning, Dad. Good morning, son. How are you? Fine. Um, thanks a lot for keeping her company all this while. Okay. You have absolutely no idea how much I appreciate your kind and understanding gesture. I owe you, son. Uh, fine. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Felix. Good morning, beauty. I, I hope you slept, slept well. Sure, I did. Good. Um, Dad, I should do my work already. Oh, please. You're beautiful. Oh. oh, stop! Don't you want me to kiss you? Why are you acting this way? Look, Chief. Mr. Felix, look, I, I can't do this. Why? I don't understand. Why don't you want to? Why are you here? Look, I don't feel the connection between us anymore. After my experience at your house the other day. I just can't. I can't do it. Look, my body has been locked out of any pleasure for me. Well, um, that shouldn't be a challenge. I can always activate it. That's why I'm here. Oh, come on. Then stop! I'll scream! Look, I'll charge, I'll charge you for it. Stop, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. This is bad. I can never have anything to do with you anymore. This is really bad. I don't care how good you try to paint the picture. I mean, you have a, a wife at home that loves you so much. If she walks in right now, she's going to kill me. Just because I'm here with you. Look, this is, this is sick. Okay, um, let me believe that all these are happening because of the pressure and stress I put you through yesterday. All right. Well, before you take those decisions, I want you to think and consider my offer. See, 
Stay with me and pleasure me. And I'll give you any out of your choice. And some good dollars too. Think about this before you draw your conclusions. I'll give you today to think about it. When you're done thinking, call me up. Donald, Dad, is anything the matter? Yes, some there is. What happened between you and Thelma over the night? That's making her act all strange towards me. I don't understand. All of a sudden, she's not interested in me anymore. She didn't even want me to touch her. All of a sudden, she's had a change of heart and doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. Isn't that questionable? Now tell me, son. What actually happened between you and Thelma? Tell me the truth, Donald! Dad, I still don't understand. Nothing transpired between us. While I was in the hotel, I was minding my business. I mean, whatever she's telling you, she's saying for my head. She didn't tell me anything! Donald, she did not tell me anything! What you're trying to tell me now is you don't have any relationship with that girl? Actually, wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? Are you two fighting over a girl? Dad, do not. I need answers because all I've been hearing here is uh, a Thelma this, Thelma that. Is she the new chicken town? No, no. This is not. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Really. Really. It's none of your business. Okay? This is between me and your brother. Okay. Uh, I'll mind my business. But what I know is, when two men start to share a woman, it will also get to a stage when they get to share headbutts and punches. And when it gets to that stage, nobody should call me because it is none of my business. Are you okay? Uh, What is this? Sorry bro, I need to take this call. Oh, wait till you come. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Yes, uh, good morning. Who am I speaking with? Thelma. Thelma? Who on earth gave you my number? What are you talking about? I am not coming to your hotel room. Listen, you are not. How did you get my number? Are you aware that I'm not supposed to be talking to you? Say it on the phone, madam. Hello? Go. I, I need to save somebody before I get to the office. But we have a meeting this morning. Yeah, I know. But I will, I will make sure I, I am there before the time. Donald, why do I have a feeling you're going to see that girl, my dad's girlfriend? It's not even a feeling. You're going to see her because that's the same name you mentioned on the phone. Neil, it's not what you think, okay? Then what is it? What on earth is it? Yes, I, I know that has an extramarital affair, but you're supporting him by going to see that same girl. Come on, this doesn't make sense. 
if you love your father, you will not encourage him in, in doing all this rubbish. Leo. Please, just go and drop me uh, at the office and go wherever you want to go to. Young man, did she tell you she's my wife to be? So this is what you do behind my back. Oh, look at this kid calling for the black. Excuse me, please. What are you also doing here? Whatever you are here to do, that's what I'm also here to do. Could you shut up? Hey, young man. I won't stand here and watch you talk to my lady like that. And who told you she's your lady? Because I, I know she's mine. From where? Yeah, she's mine. She's yeah. just yeah. the hell out of you. Yeah. Hell out of you. I wouldn't be fighting if, if, if this thing here is not trying to snatch my lady from me. Oh, don't, try to be, don't try to be innocent right now, Donald. And I'm sure you came all the way from your house to see this lady. You were here to see her, right, Donald? No, no, no you were here to see I, her. I, I, I just, I just, just... You just, oh, no, 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 don't even start. Whatever I'm here to do, you are doing triple, Donald. I am done. I am done with this. Hey, sexy. Hi, handsome. Let's go, baby. I can't believe what I just did. My own Melissa is another man. She's still, she still flirting around with men. When I really thought that I, I got myself a wife. Why would she do this to me? Don't know, just calm down. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? What you saw happen out there was just reality. Don't know? That is what you get for loving people and they don't cherish it. But no, she said she said she loves me. She loves me back. Okay, so what happens now? She didn't mean it from the heart. When you love someone, you love them from the heart. You can't say you love somebody and you're out there flirting with another man. That's not love. Look, Donald, I know your heart, but you need to just get your mind out of it. Love is not as easy as it seems. It's not just mere words. It's something that has to come from the heart. It's something loyal. It's something pure. Now that is love. I think I... I have to be on my way now. I have a meeting at the office. Okay. Um, Donald. Yeah. I wanted to let you know that I'll be leaving today. So, I mean, there's no point being here. So I just felt like if this is the last time we see each other, I should say my goodbyes now. I wish you all the best with life and love. Okay? <sighs> Come on. Mm. I, I I don't think I would want this to be our last movie together. I, I just lost a, a relationship and I wouldn't want to lose a friend and a comforter like you. I, I need you now. My life feels very empty. I, I wouldn't mind paying for, for an extra day if, if, if that would be okay for you. Um, of course it's fine by you, don't worry. I'm not hurry to anyway. I don't mind. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, uh, I'll see you when I come. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, no, no, no. Mommy, you have a great day at work. And you too. Okay. 
Hey Donald. Hi beautiful. How are you? Good. <laughs> what are you hiding? Yes. Donald, I'm not good at guessing. Ta-da! Yes! You got me pizza! Yeah. Oh, thank you, Donald. Oh, you got me pizza! Oh my god! You know I'm Ooh. you know I'm good with surprises. Yes, you are. Yeah. <sighs> so oh, nice. Chicken barbecue. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know this is my favorite one. Oh, smoking hot. Oh. Hmm. Mm. So, Thanks, Don. I want us to talk about ourselves. As friends. Friends. Mm. Okay. Have you gone through heartbreaks like this young man right here? <laughs> a lot of times, I have a whole lot of bad experiences from heartbreak. I just give up on love. I quit trying. Can't be bothered. Wow. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, like, I came to realize that not all men out there are the same. They are the ones, they're some of them who really love, you know, they're real. And then they're the other ones who are just animals. Wow, that's a strong one. I don't know if I should say the same thing about women. Because to me, all women are the same. Heartbreakers. Come on, Donald, you can't say that. There are beautiful women out there with beautiful hearts. Not all women are the same. You just have to find the right one. No, 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 come on. But it's difficult to know the right person. But on the second thought, you are a sad heartbreaker. Don't know. Mm -hmm. Why'd you say that? You broke my father's heart. <laughs> <laughs> you're not serious. <laughs> Why you did? Wait a minute. Are you trying to say the same guy you saw with your girlfriend? My ex. Please. My ex. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. So you're saying you saw the same guy with your ex-girlfriend in your office? Yeah. I, I was surprised to see him. The poor man is just a delivery guy. I wonder why Melissa would want such a person. I mean, she might be in love. That girl is not capable of love. Is it that she's on a mission or the guy is deceiving her? Whichever way, love is not in her agenda. Oh God, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why can't you have anything positive to say? I love to be realistic and logical. Oh, please, pay me. I'll tell you what for a fact. Love happens to the weirdest people. The oddest combination is love. That's what it does. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You know, Nollywood has stepped up their game in, in love movies. I think we should find one and watch. Nollywood? Mm -hmm. We should watch. Okay, now you're sounding strange. Yeah! All that love happens, blah, 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 blah. Our stories will, will see in movies. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, Stonehead. 
when it's coming from someone who has hardly tasted a man's love, I get confused whether to take the advice or not. <laughs> you are so silly. Thank you. So, how about we go on a karaoke night somewhere around? Ah, it's getting late. Come on, please. That will make me feel better. Well, you're not hot one day, right? Come on, stop being sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> Are we going? Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Tell me, mm. what's this thing going on between you and Donald? I mean, he seems to be checking up on you more than she thinks. <coughs> I better go. There's nothing going on between us. We're just friends. Yeah, just nothing friends. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me not be too fast to say that I see my friend falling in love. Yeah, you look like you're all in love. You're falling for him. But then again, please. Not with him. Not with him. Don't split the family in, into two. Okay? Jesus Christ. Stella, why do you like imagining nonsense? Oh, uh, call it my imagination, but I know what I'm saying. Please, though, I just friend. Who's there? I'll get that. Hey, handsome! Hey. Ah, I've been okay. I've been all right, all right, all right. I've been good. Yeah, you can check up on your girl. Okay, no, no. Oh my God. Stella, please. Be quiet, silly. Oh, um, you know what, guys? Guys, um, I'm going out to the pool side, okay? Please. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be going. Well, if you need me, just holler at me, okay? Nah, I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll be just fine, Stella. Bye, girl. Bye. more than too much. I mean, well, why are you not at work? What are you doing here? Well, let's say I have a feeling that somebody will be checking out today. So I decided to come down. I know. I told you yesterday that I'll be leaving today, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I, I think I'm really enjoying your company and I don't want you to leave. Turn out. Uh. I already told the receptionist that I'll be checking out today. Not a problem, okay? I just paid for a few more days. Why are you doing this? Well, I really cherish your company and I think um, I won't have anybody to chat with. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll be here for you. Thank you. <laughs> So, so mm. what have you been up to? Oh, please, Jeremy. You guys are eating. Yes, you mm. <laughs> I don't eat here. I like uh, onions. Onions? Mm. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad for the breath. Oh, right. Yeah, man. And it's good for the body, too. Let me try it. Let me try some more. Irene, or whatever your name is. I want to sound this as a warning to you. Please stay away from my man, Donald. And who said I have anything to do with your acclaimed man? Oh, of course you do. He comes in here every day to see you. Oh, you think I don't know? Didn't he tell you we were engaged? Together forever, okay? <laughs> and the man you're parading around town with? Oh, that's none of your business, okay? Donald is my main man. And he's going to be my husband soon. So please, you can't come from nowhere to snatch him away from me. Well, first of all, I wasn't trying to snatch your fiance. Mm. Secondly, I think you should go ask Donald if he's still interested in you. Of course he does. My dear, I tell you what, I can never recommend you to an enemy. Talk more of a friend like Donald. Never. Excuse me. Look at her. Shameless thing. Husband snatcher. Stay away from Donald. Stay away from him. Let's just stay on touch. If you don't understand, that's right. You can find it yourself. 
Victor. <laughs> God, I had so much fun at that party. I can't believe the last time. No. I can't believe I danced so good. You, I must Gosh. say you're a better dancer than you think of yourself. You really did well. Really? Yeah, you did so well. Don't know. Thank you. I just want to thank you for everything, everything you've done for me so far. You've made every bit of my stay here worth the while. I should be the one thanking you. Hmm? Your presence here has made me a happy man. Notwithstanding what happened with me and my relationship. You are a great woman. Huh? I must confess, I misjudged you the first day I set my eyes on you. But now I've come to know you. You have a special heart. You're such a wonderful person. Thank you, Donald. Those, those words are too much for me. Come on. You deserve more. I love you. Did I hear you well? Did you just say you love me? I don't know how that slipped from my mouth, but I'm convinced it's from my heart. I love you too, Kino. I cherish you a lot. Me? Yes. I cherish you. I really do. Wow. Oh my God. Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon. Where are you coming from? I, I, I went out to see a friend. A friend? Yes. Donald. What is this I hear about you and that girl, Thelma? Dad, I, I don't, I don't understand. Don't act dumb with me, Donald. You're keeping a relationship with that girl in that hotel behind my back. Dad, it, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not what it is. What else could it be? Because I have terrible sources. You snatched my girl. And now you're here telling me it's what I think. Fine. I, I, I agree I have, I have a friendship bond with, that, with her, but it's not a crime. Dad, you're married. I'm not. I, I have opportunity to, to mingle. The little time I, I've come to know that girl, I, I think she's a nice girl. I, I think I'm in love with her. What nonsense! Over my dead body will you get married to a harlot? It is my life, Dad! And I choose who to fall in love with! And I will disown you if you do such rubbish! Fine! Disown me! But that will not stop me from going out of my house! Thank you! Do no! Can, can you imagine this boy? Donald! You will regret this. Mark my words, you will regret this. Dad, why would you do that? Why did you take my position away from me? Because I just discovered that Leonard here deserves the position you My position is not related to Leo's field of specialization. Why would you do that without even telling me? 
you're, you're ranting now. Ah. And your ranting is not going to change anything. It's my company. And I choose whoever I want to handle whatever position I can fit. I see. I see this has to do with my relationship with Thelma, right? Are you really dating Thelma? Answer him now. Answer your brother. Since you want to display your stupidity here. And your listen to me. Leonard here will be handling your post from now on and any other major post I didn't think. Since you want to step on my toes, you will go back to where you started from square one. Ah. I will drop the job. Don't be right. Even that. Oh, what a football. Dad, I have some great news for you. Yes. I just engaged Thelma. What? you like yourself and the fact that you still want to remain my son terminate that engagement immediately because i will not condone such rubbish i am terminating nothing i just want to let you know that very soon we will be getting married and you will do nothing nothing to stop it donald come back here into the head of this stupid boy. Is he crazy? This is entirely my fault. Meaning you wouldn't be back this weekend? And that isn't good news for me. I was expecting you back this week. Don't worry. I'll be back in no time. Donald told me about you stopping him from getting married to the woman he wants to. What is the problem? I will not sit. Fold my arms and watch my son Donald get married to that girl. She has no reputation. She's a street girl, a prostitute. How do you know? Are you a father? That's my job you're taking. Now go and give your son your blessings. And stop acting like this, Venice. I am not in support of that wedding. I am not. Johnny, there is no point acting like this. If Donald loves this woman, you should support them. Listen, I don't want to talk about this again. It's getting me very angry. Please. Everyone is equal. Stop acting like Donald wants to get married to an animal. And he's there. Dad, if you wish to disown me,
concerning this issue. Fine. I prefer marrying Thelma than being part of this family. How well, about that explains your stupidity? I don't mind being stupid. As far as that stupidity fetches my happiness. <sighs> what is going on here? This quarrel has to stop. It's becoming unbearable. Do you know what? I will end it now. By leaving this house, I am old enough to make decisions for myself. No, Donald, calm down. He hasn't gotten to that. Donald, uh, leave, leave him. Let him go. Sissy, ask... choose this one. Make a fool of Donald. Him. Let him go. What nonsense. Donald, see, Donald, he, he hasn't gotten to get out of my house. Keep your family to yourself. I am not interested. Going for what I love. Do not. Do not. Let him go. Do not. Do not. See. Do not. Do not. Listen to me. He, ha he has not got to do. Do, do not. not. You are ashamed of yourself. Going for a prostitute. Do not. Please. Do not. Where, where are you going to? How can you leave your family because of a woman? What is that song do I have? Do not, please. You and dad can find a way and settle this issue. Do not, women come and go. But families are meant to be together forever. Please, my brother, I want you to have everything. You mean I want to have a second thought? Not in this house. Hey, Never! Do not, this girl has charmed you. This girl has... Do not, how can you leave your family because of a woman? Watch your tongue, okay? Do not, do not! Do not! Gosh, baby, you didn't have to do this. You can't sacrifice this much all because of me. You don't have to break up your relationship with your father because of me. If he chooses not to be sensible, I am ready to break whatever relationship I have with him. I love you, Toma. And I'm ready to get rid of any bad energy that will come in between us. That is how much I mean when I say I love you. God, oh, I love you more. I just pray your dad changes his mind soon as That is his business. What is important is that very soon we will both be legally married. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, baby. <laughs> well, Felix, if you ask me, there is no point acting rigid towards your son, Donald. If that is the woman you are choosing to marry, please, dear Union, he has a reason for choosing her. I will never succumb to that. Bond, you know what those girls do and why they're here. I can't believe that you of all people are in support of this. My son will never marry someone I had something to do with. Never. Let you have no seen about this. What of if they go ahead and marry you without your consent? What are you going to do? I doubt that will happen. And then watch and see because that is what is going to happen exactly if you keep on acting like this. I don't understand what you're coming from. You know those girls. You know why they're here. He likes her and they love themselves. Not, not, not people that do stuff like that. No, no, no way. Tell me, which woman you think doesn't do anything? Even the one we keep in the house. I do vouch for them. Yes, I can vouch for my wife. Why? You talk to me to this thing. That is the same way your wife will not be vouching for you, have you? Yes, this one. Why are you talk to me to this thing. I better let the children play their ball, Jerry. Leave them, huh? <sighs> so finally, my best friend has fallen in love. Ah, so we see oh you. Oh my God, do you know how you glow just at the mention of his name? <laughs> you are glowing, girl. My dear, are you not happy for me? Yeah, I'm happy for you. Oh. <laughs> I'm so so happy for you. I wish you the very best of luck, okay? I don't get it. 
Does that mean you won't be around? Oh, of course not. You know, Ron just got back not too long ago. So that means my appointment here is done. So I have to be off to Abuja to make one conditioner like that. And then after that, I'm off to Benin. There's this big fish. He's a member house of representative. And after that, I'm going back to Dubai to meet this minister that has been waiting up for me. You know how it is, girl. Aside that, I would have loved to make it to your wedding. I hope you understand. <sighs> I mean, I believe you, girl. Damn. So I'll be off now. My flight is in the next two hours. You know how the travel oh, is Yeah, so I true. Have to get going. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should be I best okay. love it. Oh, don't miss me too much. <laughs> Bye. Be safe, okay? Bye. <sighs> Did you forget something? My own friend, my only friend, my personal person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here for you. Too much. I know. <sighs> so, tell me. So, oh my God, that's such a relief. So you know you're the wedding planner, of course. Ah, I am. Yes. Wow. Okay. That so means... what's the plan? What's the plan? Felix, I can't believe this. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? With my son and, uh, and this loose girl. Loose girl? Who is loose girl? This loose girl, as you call her, is Sylvia's daughter. Yeah. Sylvia? Where, where is she? Wait a minute. You don't know that she's dead? Not at all. Mm. Sylvia left us. Close to 23 years now. So, if I have not insisted in seeing the groom's father, you would allow this calamity to happen. Mm -hmm. I thought you lost my baby. Not at all. The baby is Thelma. This is that baby. What are you people? What are you people talking about? Huh? Listen, nobody can stop me from getting married to Thelma. Nobody is going to stop my wedding today. Baby, let's go. Let's go. Look at what you have done. This is this is your plan, right? She is your daughter. Uh, son, hold on a second. Son. Thank you. 